This is the fifth estate winning headline, your media police post. In this segment, we summarize some of the headlines that you might have missed this morning. But we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 22nd of May 2019 and I am 2J. I am Tuim. And I am Miss K, your host. Again, in case you missed it, this is Winning Headlines. Let's take a look at today's headlines. The Standard. Storm builds over MP's bid to oust Matiani. Mm. The Star. Did State House block Ruto trips to US, Canada? And Daily Nation. Kenya flexes muscle in row with Somalia. Mm. Mm. Let's start with the trips that were blocked by Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh, <wow>. Sorry. <laughs> Risky. You're, told you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Come <Sit there>. slowly. <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah. No, no, I, th I think this was mischievous of the star. Mm. And the reason I say this is this. The deputy president is existent in the presidency. Within the presidency. Within the presidency. Annex would know, Harambe House Annex would know what Harambe House does. Mm -hmm. All right? In essence, what I'm saying is... They, was, they have to see their schedules. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. the president cannot be out of the country and the deputy president is also out of the country. Okay, they but they, they have to interchange. And therefore, if William if Deputy President William Bruto says I have cancelled my trip, mm -hmm. it is because his boss is struggling. His boss takes precedence. Okay. I'd want to disagree with you. Mm -hmm. Because yes, DP previously said mm -hmm. that both he and the president cannot travel at the same time, mm -hmm. but they have actually done it before. If it is for official business, the president can travel to Dubai, for example, and I think that is said in the article. Yes, that and, is true. And the example they gave is that the DP then traveled to the Netherlands or the Hague, I believe, something for let something else. Let me tell you what happened then. They actually met at the airport. The president was going somewhere. The you deputy were there? president was landing. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I, I saw them. <laughs> and what they did is they shook hands. One entered the car, the other one entered the plane. Entered the plane. Right. Okay, but so I will, uh, before, before, before I bring this, before I allow you to make your yeah. last comment, I will try and have us ground the headline in our three-part yeah. criteria. Mm -hmm. We have a three-part criteria that we use to break down the headlines for you. We ask ourselves three questions. Is this headline topical or is it speculative? Is this headline repetitive mm. or is it groundbreaking? And finally, is this headline thoughtful? Mm. Did State House block lazy. Ruto trips to US Canada or just plain lazy as mm. I feel it is? Mm. Yeah, this feels like a bit of a manufactured headline because I think they're trying to make us feel a certain type of way towards the deputy president, which mm. I think is false. Mm. Um, I also think that it is a repeated headline. Mm. So we replaced... He, you know, we replace one Weishi story with another one. I, so. I think it's a scheme to draw a rift between the president and the deputy president. And that's why we, I'm saying we just yeah. yeah. All right. Storm builds over MPs bid to oust Matiani. <laughs> Can they? Is it possible? It's always possible. There's nothing that you can rule out. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so the threshold for impeaching or ousting a mm. CS mm. is a simple, simple majority. A Whoa. simple, simple majority, yes. yes. <laughs> so In the short, you're trying to say just how easy it how is. Easy. It's 50% plus one. Mm. So if we take the current seated MPs, that mm. is 349 members, Correct. 50% plus one is about 176. Yes. Now, if we look at the numbers that DP Ruto had... Yes. Yes. In Moranga, yes. oh, in the, the cancelled trip. Yes. yes, that was about 150 members of parliament. Absolutely. Therefore, getting that extra 26 majority. is very easy. Not so hard. I, I remember when uh, there was an impeachment motion against then cabinet secretary for devolution and planning, uh, Anne Migoro. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the only time, the reason it failed is because the mover of the motion, this guy called uh, Mithika Linturi, he just, he disappeared on the day they were going to vote. So in essence, it failed on a technicality. Yes. Mm. Then what we need to do is offer a cautionary note to CS Matiani. Yes. As a friend of the fifth of the fifth estate. Yes. Correct. And we will say this. Yeah. The problem with overconfidence is that you become oblivious to danger. Mm -hmm. And it is well known that our CS is very overconfident. Yeah. I made the statement, <laughs> you don't expect me to respond to fraudsters mentioned, mm. who mentioned my name in what mm. is an active investigation. Yes. He reeks of it. And the problem with that is that it blinds you to yes. danger and you will not mm. see it 
coming. coming. History is replete with stories of people who have not mm -hmm. seen their demise coming mm -hmm. and when it was right there at the so, door. So what you're also saying is the president is not likely to defend him in case it happens. Linturi, whoever the Linturi will be could also disappear in the morning. Fall, yeah. So fall, we don't fall, know. Fall, fall, follow the favor, right? Follow the favor, yeah, that's very true. One... I think the message is received well. So yes. I say we toss it. Yes. Yep, I agree. We toss it. Yeah. Kenya flexes muscle in row with Somalia. Rightly so. <laughs> Was there anything else you were ever going to say? No, I mean, rightly so. Look, <laughs> imagine your neighbors with this person, and then your children play together, you intermarry, you know, you have food, and then you have food together, a communion, and then one cold morning, he takes you to court mm. and he tells you and he says to the judge that part of your land belongs to him, mm. right? But then he continues coming to your house for dinner to, 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 to party and, and walk around the swimming pool and wanting want a machoma and a couple no, he's of He's coming days. to swim in the swimming pool, but he claims only the land around the swimming pool. Mm. Yes, <laughs> all right? Now, would you accept, would you, do you, would you have a, a band playing for this guy the moment he's coming to your house? No, not of at all. Of course not, all right? I, I mean, and here's the point, and we have received a lot of flack for the video that we released on Sunday mm -hmm. about Somalia. And I want to make a distinction here. We were not going at Somalis, mm. all right? So, Somalis, in our view, uh, the, the reason we call it, we, we say Somalis, it's because they stay in Kenya. They're citizens of Kenya. The reason we, yeah. we call them the other people Somalians is because they reside in Somalia. Mm. They carry right? a Somali passport. They carry yes. a Somali passport. And that's it. Mm. All right? So all these things, but I actually agree. I agree with the government position. I think it is time we flex yes, our we muscles. Do. It is long overdue. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll tell you a story about Jomo Kenyatta. Hey. Today, you, know? you came to preach. Actually, generally, this week. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you a story about Jomo. You know, Jomo one day, he said, told his driver, let us go to the Tanzanian border. Mm -hmm. Right? So the driver drives, 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 and Jomo has carried his fly whisk, and they get to Namanga, and the border is here. You know what Jomo does? Yeah. He peed into Tanzania. <laughs> wow. He peed, he peed, he peed, and then he finished. He entered his Land Rover, but before he entered his Land Rover, he whisked his fly whisk and said, Harambe. <laughs> and then he entered and he, he drove back. Point is this. Sometimes you have to chokoza. Mm. Right? You I let on your we konyoko a bit. We were yeah. chokoza. And I'm saying sometimes it is good. Even those people who are burning our chicks and taking our cattle and, 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 and burning them, they know themselves, mm. our neighbors in the south. Sometimes we have to chokoza them. It's the only way sometimes you can respect them. So then, right, can well. we say this? I agree that Kenya flexes muscle in row with Somalia brings the Somali issue to the public, the Kenyan public, yes. and lifts yeah. the veil of ignorance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can we say that this is our winning headline? I would agree, yeah. It's most definitely topical. Yes. To win up what you said about it, what do you think about the headline? <laughs> Good. We keep it. All right. The Daily Nation is our winning headline, and on to our next segment, the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Mm -hmm. Just like the headlines, we have a three-part criteria that we use to break them down for you. Yeah. We ask ourselves three questions. Is the cartoon humorous, or is it dry? Is the cartoon satirical, or is it pessimistic? And finally, is the cartoon effective, or, or just, just plain, plain lazy? lazy. Yes. Let's we start with, with the Daily Nation after we had so much mm. Mm. to say about it. Just today in Dula. This I love. Yeah, it's a fantastic cartoon. It's a love. Lucky like Lotto. Yes, caricature of new um, IG of police. Is it Umupika Box? Yes. <laughs> it's called Hilary Mutiambai. Yes. And uh, he's... Uh, he's they're doing, us, they're doing the lottery. They're doing the lottery yep. and he's picking up balls. And one of, uh, two of the balls, they labeled a Chesa and Malala. I think this is, uh, the context of this is the two, uh, Chesa and Malala were arrested during the weekend mm -hmm. uh, for being suspected of taking part in the Matungo killings. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's a caption at the top. The caption at the top is, police narrow down on narrow. politicians linked to Matungo killings. Yeah. But, but what he's doing is actually picking balls from a lottery. Mm. So it could be anybody. So it, yeah, could it could be, be anybody. anybody. Yeah. Pata Potea. Yeah. Is this hitting at Muchambai himself? Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's definitely hitting at Muchambai himself. Uh, but I do like it. I find it hilarious. Oh, it's a funny it's cartoon. Funny cartoon. It's great, yeah. Yeah. I say we keep it. Mm. And I think it also, if we could pull that other criteria, it lifts the veil of ignorance yep. for the public. We're yes. now beginning to question, does the IG actually know what he's doing? Or is this just a fishing expedition until... <laughs> 
And the other people yeah. who are named as suspects actually guilty. Exactly. Mm. Is it that just unfortunately the hand fell on their name? All right. So I say parking bay. I parking agree. Bay. Parking bay. Yes. Parking bay. Parking bay. Let's see what Gado has for us today. <laughs> International cartoon yet again. Hey, but regional. Yeah. Um, caricature of Ugandan president uh, Kaguta Museveni. Mm-hmm. All right. And and, seven. Yeah, and on his uh, mouth. It's so distasteful of you, Gado. Is, is, is <laughs> this ha- is distasteful? The past has been more. But this but, is funny. <laughs> but I kind of like it. He, he has a toilet paper on his mouth. Mm-hmm. And a toilet paper roll has M7 for life, no to term limits, limitless violence, limitless, limitless chopping. chopping. Yeah. You know, and he's holding his gun and he's wearing his hat, hat with long horns, yeah. you know. I think it's a fantastic cartoon. I think you it's good. he's a potty mouth. Yeah, he's a potty mouth and he needs to, I mean, okay, you say wash your mouth with soap, but yes. I think he needs to clean his mouth with toilet paper. But Gado wow. says something here. <laughs> Gado says something on the caption. It's small guy. Oh, yes. with, with apology to Zapiro. Hmm. Who is oh, Zapiro? Who is that? We are yet to apply our minds to that. So we'll leave that blank. I, I think... think I don't know. Today I'm confused. I won't lie to you because I feel like the cartoons were actually pretty good. No, yes. And so I say first bench this a little mm. bit. Yeah. Let's look at the start. But I also want to say star. distasteful is not a bad thing in cartoons. So no, I feel like distasteful sometimes sits along it depends. the yes. criteria. I will, I will not give the criteria for distasteful because there are some distasteful cartoons I have just tossed. I won't lie. Yep. Anyway, uh, the star. Mm-hmm. Who's one? In my view, I like it. Yeah, today I'm actually going to address Ozone. I think it's a fantastic cartoon. Yeah, but before we <laughs> Welcome do... Welcome back to Jay, be, 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 <laughs> to this particular cartoon. Let's first give it context. Mm. Uh, Dubai Sheikh, uh, Al Maktoum, right? And he's meeting Wanjiko and... Uh, Her children. And, and Kenyans. Mm-hmm. They're saying, my friend, the things that get stolen in this country, watch her too. <laughs> forget then, your gold. They say, forget, forget your gold. Forget your gold. And I, I, I mean, I, I, I agree. <laughs> if someone has the guts to steal a presidential escort car... <laughs> and take it to Uganda then what or is Tanzania. <laughs> What's his goal? Yeah. You know? But also it shows the resilience of Kenyan people. We have lived through fake, so many fake things. Mm. So your fake goals come. Please join the queue behind the fake sugar, fake, fake, sugar, rice, fake yeah. rice. So many fake things. So Fantastic. my friend, Absolutely. join the queue. But I loved it. I found it hilarious. Yes, and I if I was to now choose, mm-hmm. I'm going to say let Gado go. Agreed. Let Gado go. And then we have... Yeah, Ndula, Ndula and, and Ozone. Ozone. Who might indeed be the same person. We speculate. Oh, you never know. All right. Um, I think that if we were to decide between the two, I would go with, with Ndula. I think this is a fantastic cartoon. It lifts mm. a veil of ignorance. I'm tired of this gold story, if I'm quite honest. Yeah. But it's funny. It's funny, but I think the story itself is tired. So okay, too true. The story itself is tired. This is more topical, but we don't have that as a criteria for the cartoon. That is true. So, which is funnier? I would say we go with the Daily Nation. I'm making the okay, decision. Okay, well, then that's the effective. Table. Yes, agreed. That is effective. Our winning cartoon comes from the Daily Nation. Daily Nation gives us both. Double win. Okay. What is our final thought? And now, our final thought. It is, it is inspired by a book uh, entitled The Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi, right? Don't worry, he's Japanese. He, they he's, don't he's Japanese. pronunciation But some, so some of these uh, Japanese words, they sound like Kikuyu, eh? That's so true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mutahi. <laughs> Miyamoto. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to throw it in. All right, so um, tell us. All right, uh, yes, and, and Moshak, uh, Musa, Musashi, Musashi <laughs> breaks the book down into five books, right? The book okay. of ground, the yes. book of wind, the book of fire, the book of water, and the book of void, oh. right? And there's a quote he has in this book that I like, yeah. and maybe you'll tell me at the end of this who this applies, applies to. to. All right. Let me read it. Okay. <clears throat> In large-scale strategy, when you cannot see the enemy's position, indicate that you are about to attack strongly to discover, to discover his resources. Mm-hmm. It is easy then to defeat him with a different method once you see his resources. Oh, I like that quote. Yeah. That's a great one. Uh, it is what our neighbors should 
be expecting. <laughs> All right, so right. audience at home, if you've not realized, this week we are looking at some of the Fort Hall School of Government favorite classic books. Yes. So this is another one, The Book of Five Rings, which yeah. a lot of the time is contrasted with The Art of War. Yes. yes. They're very similar in the ethos that they try to present. Yes. So this book was written in 1645. Yeah. Um, Miyamoto, he was educated in Buddhism. Yeah. He was a trained samurai, and he was considered one of the greatest warriors in Samurai yes. things. Sword fighting. Those, yeah. <laughs> Those things, right? <laughs> not, not fencing, eh? Not fencing. No, no. not fencing. Actual so, sword fighting. Yeah. <laughs> so Miyamoto felt that he was... Oh, so he's considered to be one of the most undefeated samurais in the world. Yes. yes. And he felt that this undefeated nature of his was due to luck or natural talent. Yeah. So at the age of 30, he decided that his life aim mm. was going to be discovering the way of the strategy. Yeah. So I think we can contrast this with the prince of yesterday yeah. when he discusses virtue and luck. And luck. So that is what Miyamoto was trying to so figure out. So he's finding out, out what mm. the virtue is in the samurai exactly. nature, what skill Versus is the required. Luck. Yeah. So at the age of 60, he retreated, he retreated to a cave yeah. where he decided to put these thoughts into writing. Okay. Okay. So all the wisdom he had accumulated throughout his years, he mm. put into this book, The Book of Five Rings. Yeah. And it is rumored that he actually died short after he, shortly after he finished the book. Yes. So we're just going to go through quickly yeah. the five books. Yes. Okay. So the first book, yeah. The Book of Earth, yes. okay. not The Book of Ground. So the it book is a book of ground. <laughs> See, ground and earth is the same thing. It's the elements of the earth. So the book of earth. This <sighs> illustrates the importance of looking outside our chosen field mm. to obtain knowledge that helps us grow. Mm. Insights can often be gained from areas where they are least expected. Mm. And this is a Fort Hall School of Government favorite. Yeah. Yes. You are trained as one thing, mm. but you read widely into another, into another one. Correct. Yes. 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 Yeah. So, so what I will do now, mm. I think it will be easier if we do this book, if we were to dedicate each of the five books yeah. to a different personality okay. because i think that different personalities embody these different elements in different ways mm. Mm. and so i would say that the book of earth mm. is an embodiment of the book of ground okay prime minister mm. raila odinga Oh. Oh. I'd say that. Okay. For this reason, the yeah. Book of Earth focuses on inner nature and attitudes that must be cultivated by a warrior. Yeah. And I don't think there's another person who knows himself mm. better, better yes. than Raila Odinga. Odinga. Yes. I 100% agree. Yeah. So the second book, yeah. the Book of Water, essentially it's talking about staying calm. Yeah. The meaning of water is in relation to flexibility. Mm. So water demonstrates natural flexibility as it changes to conform mm. with the boundaries that contain it. Yes. So this reminds me of um, the dynamic flow of water in science. Yes. Yeah. So you have two types of flows. Yeah. You have luminar flow and yeah. you have turbulent flow. Yes. So turbulent flow is what we know. When you open your tap, yeah. the water is just gushing uh -huh. out of control. Yes. But luminar flow is actually very curious. Right. It looks like the water is frozen. Yeah. It is still and in place, yes. but it is actually moving. moving. So it's yeah. characterized by fluid, smooth um, flows of water. Mm. So in the Book of Water, he talks about how you should stay calm yeah. and not move too quickly. Yes. Be at one with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I think I'm going to dedicate this book to D.P. William Samoy Ruto. Mm. For this reason, yeah. water is the basis of the spirit. Yes. And the spirit... Water adopts the shape of the receptacle. So whatever receptacle you put it in, regardless yeah. of the flow, sometimes it will be a trickle, yes. yeah. as you say, yeah. and sometimes it will be a gushing force, yes. Yes. a wild sea. Yes. And he should remain calm mm. as everything happens to him, as the speculations go on. Mm. He knows what he is in it for. Yes. And he has skin in the game. So let him just yes. stay calm. Um, yeah, I yeah. agree with that one. Mm. All right, so now we have the Book of Fire. Yes. In this book, um, the author talks about how the spirit is developed through consistent practice mm. and putting your techniques into action. Yes. It teaches us to put our soul or spirit into what we do if yes. we are to achieve greatness. Yes. And I want to dedicate that to our dear president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. And I'll do it using a quote. Okay. Right. And, 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 and he says, in contests of strategy, it is bad to be led about by the enemy. You must always be able to lead the enemy about. So ah. you're telling the president to maintain his position? No. <laughs> All right, tell us, I'm, what are you telling I, I, him to I'm do? I'm saying mm -hmm. the handshake is an arrangement to lead the president. <laughs> mm. And for him to lead the enemy, he must... Take control. Kill the handshake. Oh, all right. Yep. Strong, bold words to him. Yep. Wow. All right, next we have the Book of Wind. 
So he chastises the author. He chastises schools that primarily focus on money or accolades. Yeah. You must look inside yourself for what you really want and pursue the activities that fulfill that what we want on our own accord. Yeah. Money and fame will always come later. You should not prioritize those things first. Correct. Okay, so then I'm going to say this because mm. you see that in that book, what he's looking at essentially is that he's saying because he was doing a contrast between whatever strategy he'd learned yeah. and the schools of thought that he'd been taught in and yeah. the other ones. Yeah. So he was more concerned with the purist, like yeah. he was looking at the value why am I a samurai and why I should as aspire to be the best samurai I could possibly mm. be by learning all of these things Correctly. versus the ones who are looking for fame, fortune, material mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to contrast this and say it's whether you're looking for interests or mm. whether you know why mm. it is you're doing something. Mm. And I'm going to dedicate this book to two groups of people. <laughs> I'm going to dedicate it to Tin Tanga Tanga and Kia Leweke. Okay. For this reason. This, hey, hey, okay, just finish. I'm going to say for this reason. Yeah. You know they're all politicians yeah. and mm -hmm. you can never buy a politician. So they are all rented as prof says. Uh -huh. so, but do they know why exactly they're doing this? I don't think so. Are they in it for the interest? They're clouded the by why? the money and the interest, yeah. By the way, if you're any politician that subscribes to Tanga Tanga and Kieleweke, you don't know how derogatory those terms are. <laughs> I just said it. I've been reading the papers. All right, and finally, and the final. book of void, which yes. interestingly, if you realize other five books, yeah. they're based on the elements of the ground and the earth. Correct. This one was developed by Miyamoto himself. Yeah. And in this one, he says, yeah. it is a deep understanding based on constant study and application. Yeah. Deep knowledge is not accessible at a quick glance. Yeah. Meaning is found in doing, mm. in interacting with the world in a conscious way. Yeah. I have a candidate for that. All right. Okay. Our dear Minister for Internal Security, Fred Matiangi, mm. right? And the reason I say that is because he says, um, Miyamoto says, the way of strategy is the way of nature. And I'll quote him. He says, when you appreciate the power of nature, knowing rhythm of any situation, you will be able to hit the enemy naturally. Mm. So, and, and the rhythm is this impeachment things going on around. Yep. And as you rightly said, he's being overconfident. If he knows the rhythm and he knows the end game of what is starting now, he will be able to subscribe to the way of strategy is the way of nature. All right. This is winning headlines on a day when we had a winning headline from the Daily Nation yeah. and a winning cartoon from Victor the Dula of the yeah. Daily Nation. Yes. Finally, I'd like to dedicate something uh. to the Kenyan population, okay. myself included, yeah. from the Book of Five Rings. Mm -hmm. And I want us to stop living in denial. Mm -hmm. Here at Winning Headlines, we are aspiring to get you to look for the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he says, truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is. And you must bend to its power or live a lie. Ooh. As a Kenyan, I don't want to live a lie, mm. so I will bend to the truth. Okay. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.